Hoo-wee. Hoo-wee. What do we got here, folks? Beer of the weekend. I got, uh, been working, working, working. Lots of projects around the house, lots of projects. Projects I want to get done, projects Stephanie wants me to get done, etc., etc. Projects we both want to get done. Uh, what I do today, I first thing got up and vacuumed the pool. Okay, I got some pool chemicals in the, yesterday, so opening the pool, even though it's still too cold for it, it is freezing. Uh, getting it ready so when it is warm, it's ready to go. Uh, worked on the garden, the raised flower bed garden, got it going. Uh, chopped it down last weekend with the weed eater. Uh, threw some cardboard over it, weeded it, raked it, got as many weeds out as we could. Put some fresh dirt and compost and topsoil on it. Uh, we're supposed to have a thunderstorm Sunday, so we're going to try to wait till after that to plant anything. Okay. Um, worked on some, worked on the rims for this thing. I got two of them done completely. I'll put a picture up here, even though I'm doing a separate video for them. Right here, if I remember. I'll try to remember. Rims. Okay. Um, now we're taking a break. I got some ribs. One set of spare ribs on the Barbie. Gonna have that for dinner here in a minute. Uh, so, I've been working on this thing here and there. It's been kicking my butt, kind of motor wise um, so I finally got it to where it would turn over with the car and I also got a push button start I can push it it'll turn over it just won't fire up I'm not getting spark but I smoked a distributor put a brand new distributor in it tried to start it up and it smoked it so I gotta figure that out anyhow so why am I sitting here with this? Milwaukee's best ice? Let's see what this says. I tried to look it up, but I'm not getting very many details. A refreshing, smooth, highly drinkable ice lager. The temperature of Milwaukee's best ice is lower to below freezing during brewing to form ice crystals that impart the beer's smoothness and 5.9% alcohol content. Milwaukee's best ice. Cyrus, why on earth would you get a cheap beer like this? This is not a craft beer. When you got projects like this and you want to have a beer, you got to have budget beer, budget project beer. So this was actually cheaper than natural ice. I paid 13, roughly 13.50 for a 24 pack of this. I had Stephanie get me two. It was so budget friendly. So got a few of these to drink. Okay, I've had a few of these over the past half month that I've had them. Had a few of these working on this. I'm going to tell you a lot of people are not going to like this at all. I'm going to tell you. The first one of these that I had, I thought was absolutely terrible. I'm going to tell you. The first one of these, when it says 5.9 alcohol, it tasted like I was drinking racing alcohol fluid. It was not good alcohol, it was terrible alcohol. It tasted like what you would think uh, jet fuel or racing fuel would taste like. It tastes like ethanol or something. It was bad. Terrible. 
had I have reviewed this on the first can I drink of this, I would probably give it a three or a four. It was that bad. It was terrible. I sat there and I thought to myself, oh goodness, I just bought 48 of these. What am I going to do? Well, sometimes you got to be patient and give things a try. Okay? You know, I, I mean, I had to drink them. I bought them. I'm not going to... Didn't want to pour 40, 80 of these down the drain. So, after... Let's just put it this way. The more of these that you have, I'm not saying at the same setting. <laughs> okay, I'm not saying after 10 of these in a row, they taste great. I'm saying the more you have these, the better they get. So, Milwaukee's Best Ice. First thing, I thought maybe it'd be something you'd pour in here and it make it go. Pretty stout on the alcohol taste. Not good, ice. Ah. So, first, first smell, it smells pretty normal to the other convenience store beers. Maybe just a hint stronger, but uh, so after a hard day's work, getting dirty, working around the house, it wasn't too hot today. Uh, it will be soon though. These taste excellent okay they're definitely they're an acquired taste you have to have a few of them for them to taste anything that you'd want to have so if you're looking for a budget extreme budget beer this was the cheapest beer in the store at the time. It was like $13.50 for a 24 pack. Okay. You got to have them for your projects. You having a few friends over. Not that you can have friends over now. Maybe in the future you can have friends over. Hopefully. Grabbing some of these. The first weekend you have these, they'll probably be terrible. Next weekend you go over to another friend's house and help him on his car, or they keep coming over and working on your car, these will taste good. It's an acquired taste. So, that being said, Milwaukee's Best Ice. After a few of these, what rating would I give this? For what it is, budget-minded, I would give this a 7. I'm going to give it a 7. Possibly 8 on a hot, hot day. Okay? So, I wouldn't probably go out and buy 48 of these. Maybe, I don't know if they sell these in 6-pack. Maybe get a 12-pack of them don't want to disappoint you but uh, Milwaukee's best ice so here's to the weekend here's to us all getting making it through this and all getting back to regular life being able to spend it in big family gatherings and with friends and with neighbors. Thanks for watching.
So I went with spare ribs. This is what Stephanie bought me, spare ribs. They had a good deal on them. I didn't square them up or anything. Normally I'll square, if I get spare ribs, I like baby backs because they're the easiest. But normally when you get spare ribs, you'll square this off, cut that off and cut that off. But I was lazy, so we went with a full whole rack of spare ribs. I went hot this time. I went uh, quite a few pepper flakes. Went with cayenne pepper. I'm not going to put any sauce on there. I may have some sweet sauce on the side. Good stuff.